Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Today, as you can see, I'm not home. I'm in a hotel room in Kinshasa right now for the next couple of days. And the reason why I booked this hotel here is because they have free Wi-Fi. But when you talk about free Wi-Fi, the connection needs to be good because today on the internet, almost 70% of the traffic is made of video, which means uh, streaming, uh, Netflix, YouTube, video conferences, and so on. But I have a problem in this hotel here. The connection is very slow. Slow for me means less than one megabit per second. With a connection around 500 kilobit per second, I cannot do much in this hotel. For example, if I want to do a Zoom call, Zoom requires at least 1.2 megabit per second if you want to do 720p uh, video conference or if you want to go of HD with 1080p, you need at least three megabit per second. And if I want to use RDP, for example, to connect to my Windows server at home, I will not be able to do it because RDP requires at least two megabit per second. And for that, there are a couple of solutions. One of the solutions that you can use is a phone. You can just buy a SIM card and use an LTE or 4G provider on your phone and use your phone as a hotspot. But in my case, I'm using something a little bit sophisticated, the Checkpoint Quantum Spark 1590. I've been making videos on the 1590s on this channel for a while now and today we have the opportunity to talk about the LTE connection on this device here. As you can see this device can take up to two SIM cards on the side here and once you have those SIM cards the two antennas we have in front are for LTE connection and the four in the back are for Wi-Fi. This is an enterprise solution this is not for any regular person just like me here working in a hotel with a security appliance like this. I am not a normal person, I'm a network engineer. And if you want to become a network engineer, I have a course on kbtrans.com, focus on the Cisco CCNA 200 301. The CCNA can help you start or boost your career in the tech industry, it goes from zero to engineer. So if you are interested, if you wanna become like me, the course is available on the website. So as I said, this one is for enterprise. And one of the things that I use it for is to create a side-to-side -side VPN to my home network. As you know, my home network is set up as an enterprise network. I shared all the video with you on this channel and I have a link to the playlist in the description if you want to watch it. So I can create a side to side VPN so that all the devices in this hotel room can be in the same network with my devices at home. I can access my Windows Server desktop. I can access my NAS and all my resources at home. And one of the benefits is that if you're working for a company that doesn't want you to launch connections from outside of the country, you can use the side to side VPN to create a tunnel and then launch your connection to your works firewall from wherever you are as if you were in the country. Like in my case, as if I was in the US, but actually I'm in Africa right now. So I'm going to tell you how I set it up. First of all, I just had to go down to the streets of Kinshasa and buy two SIM cards. I picked Orange RDC and Airtel RDC as well. Those are two main LTE 4G providers in the country. And I'll tell you which one is the best by the end of this video. Once you have them in, you just log into the device and go under device and internet. Here we need to add a new internet connection and let the device know that this is a cellular connection. We're just gonna call it cellular. On the next tab, we need to select the servers that we're going to use to test the quality of this connection. Right now I have three DNS servers. I have Google, Level 3 and OpenDNS. In the next tab, we are going to select what is our preferred SIM card. In my case, the preferred is SIM number two because that's Orange, uh, Orange RDC. And the other configuration that you need is the APN, which means access point name. This is a public information. You just need to Google APN for Orange RDC or APN for Airtel. And on the next tab, there is not much to change. We just go with OK. Once you do that, the device is going to take a moment to connect to the network, acquire an IP and establish that connection. Once you are connected, you can go under monitor cellular modem to see all the information about your um, LTE modem. You can see the signal level, the provider and so on. And if you go under connection monitoring, it's going to show you the quality of your connection to the three servers that we mentioned, how many packets you lose or how many, what is the jitter, the latency and so on. So I'm happy with this result. The speed that I get here is close to 10 megabit per second, which is great. Even in the US with my LTE connection, I usually have about 10 or 20 megabit per second. But this one, at some point, I went all the way to 30 megabit per second, which is fine because that's all I need to do whatever I want, RDP, remote sessions, and so on. One of the things you need to make sure is that you have enough data because the providers will put a cap on whatever you buy or you activate on your device. If you are a business, it's always good to have um, unlimited data so that your users will be able to do whatever they want. And actually, this is a very good all-in-one solution for a small business. So you just 
activate your LTE connections. If you have a cable, just plug it in the back and you have Wi-Fi for your users. And if you have a couple devices that need to be connected to this, it can be set up as a whole switch for your devices. So it's a very good small device for, for small businesses. And for connectivity, for those of you that are interested, I am mostly using Orange RDC because they have the best connectivity. It doesn't drop. Airtel, from time to time, the connection goes out after every two minutes and the device will try to connect again, which is very bad. But with Orange, that connection is steady and is up all the time. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment if you have any questions or any reaction. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see most of my small projects and things that I share with you like this. And make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Send me a message if you want to connect. Again, the course on the CCNA is available on kbtrains.com. That's where we go from zero to engineer to help you boost your career. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.